Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Failstorm, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. Uh, this episode, we're going to go ahead and continue where we left off. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. Alright, cool. She said she should be finished soon. So, hopefully that's not going to... I guess we'll just keep uh, messing about until he's ready. Just, okay, just putting on the gloves while we're here. He can literally just throw like an. He can just throw like an augmented reality ball. That's pretty tough. Wish I had one of these around. Save the controller again. Toss it. Take it hard this time. Nope, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll take him off real quick. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel <clears throat> all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. Yeah, you have. In a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. Sure. I wanted to introduce that myself works. before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the mm -hmm. FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. National concern? That seems a bit... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Now, this guy is exotic. Flowers and origami figures. Yeah, We're origami figures. And the press get onto it. I keep like suddenly become the center of the universe. not focusing on the thing and just listening to what he's saying. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it it's none of my business. <laughs> he's just here to catch the guy. Whatever you guys want to tell people, he doesn't care. <laughs> no, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress and fast. The press want a perpetrator. And we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Okay. That's easy enough, I guess. Well, I hope you're better at profiling than at tying knots. Oh, forget it. I'll manage. He li I literally had it. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. Okay, that seems kind of lame. The political climate around here. Thank you. Sir, welcome to the <laughs> club, Jaden. Pretty warm welcome from the uh, chief there. As you get Perry's assistance, show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case. I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Awesome. Okay. So we have the really frigid uh, part uh, no here. Just let me know when you're available. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We've bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. 
You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sure, why not? Be a nice guy. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office. Yes, of course. Follow me. Seems like a nice enough one. Oops, you going on the other side? Fake me out there. Definitely juke me. This is a really hole in the wall office. This? Jesus. This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Well, she's nice enough, but they gave us they gave us like the worst hole in the wall office they could probably find. So that's good. Okay. Time to work. Right, let's go ahead and walk up to the clipboard. No. Alright, let's just sit at the desk. Okay, there we go. Let's just do that. Grab our files and everything. Oh, those aren't even our files. Good god. You didn't need to clear off the phone, but alright. So you end up moving everything around the office? Like, really? Is that necessary? I don't really feel like it is. Oh, I just got up. I meant to put on the sunglasses. Why do they give you that option? <sighs> the controls are just irritating me. Alright, let's put on the glasses. Because apparently that's Step how we one. do everything. Change the office. That is cool though. I like that. So like water like water, leaves. Oh. That's pretty sick. We could just make our office underwater. That's pretty cool. Alright, we're go we're gonna go look at the other ones. Let's see what this one looks like. Hmm. We can be outside in the fall. That's definitely awesome. Oh, it's really bright too. Good lord. Alright, we'll see what this one is. I think this is gonna be like a galaxy. Or like you're in space or something. Yeah, Mars? Dang. Alright, we'll do one more. That I want to go back. I want to change the office. Well, this was probably the lamest one out of all of them. Oh. Mm, at least we'll look at this. Car tracks. Chevrolet Malibu. This car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Well, got me figure. See if we can or analyze that. It's like a dog. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Orchid. Mm, a common species. That doesn't help much. 
So we're not gonna be able to find it like uh, how they found how they found out Catalina on that movie. Um Just one origami store in town. Right. No, that doesn't really help us. But the other thing probably will. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Okay, so that doesn't really help us either. So we will get out of this. Hmm. Okay, so we'll open the filing cabinet. So we'll go ahead and open the victim's file, or we won't. I know, pull them out. Come on, pull them out. There we go. I keep click. Why do I keep doing that? I don't understand. Ugh. Closing the damn file. Okay, there we go. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand. Okay. An orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Hmm. Huh. Over 3,500 people questioned. That's a lot of people. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Hmm. Go ahead and analyze it again. See if it does anything. The killer is white, age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. Okay, so an organized type. He has a car. Yeah. He's probably, probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Well, most jobs allow you free time, no matter what do you do. So, <sighs> put away the friggin' files again. We'll pull the file cabinet again. Alright, so we got the victims. Eight victims in the last three years. Ooh, that's a lot of victims. All boys, aged between 9 and 13. Oh, God. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. <clears throat> How's that possible? Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Huh. We'll have to analyze that again, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Looking at pictures, it seems like. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Hmm. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. No, it certainly won't. No data there. 
Alright, well, I think that's all we can look at. That's it, that's all we can look at, really. Uh oh. She's having the same thing? What is what is the what is he experiencing? What what is with him and the father? I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Just like snorted that. So our FBI agent here definitely has a problem on his hands. What that is remains to be seen. Oh, and this is our other character. He's uh, looking for us. Oh, here's our main. Main fella here. This is Lieutenant Blake, <coughs> Mr. Mark. Would you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Ooh, I don't remember. Uh... Five... 30, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Uh, I think it's beige. A beige coat. God, how do I not remember this? Pants. I just played it. They're brown. I was brown probably pants. totally wrong with this. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I, I did. I I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean possibly have vanished if you were right there watching the carousel? I don't know. I, I don't understand. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Searched? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right, that's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Uh, they think they see him as a suspect. Do, do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Wow, he did not just say that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're going to keep looking through the night. Do they Do they think it's the origami killer? It's still too early to say, but it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? He didn't. Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. It's not what I meant to say. Hmm. I miss him so much. <laughs> 
So this is the first time we get to see them um, together again after everything that's happened. It's obvious that there's a lot of tension still between them. We're gonna definitely have to find out what's wrong with ourselves and find out how to either stop or understand what happened during the Black House. But alright, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> go ahead and hit that um, notification button to make sure you guys uh, get ready whenever I update a video. Next time we will uh, pick right up where we left off with our uh, personal uh, private detective. So, hope you all have a great day.